expect to see in a fiction film, but in a documentary that it's a step beyond? Well, I think when you work with people over time, they, they get a sense of understanding of what you're doing and, and they, um, you know, they, it becomes a performative act to, to make a documentary that, that happens between you as a director and the, and the people in the film. Um, so I, I think it's a question of, of uh, trust and a question of time and then people will start open up. I, I usually find that with my films. I mean, we spent three and a half months at the, <coughs> at the front line in Afghanistan uh, doing this film and we filmed the soldiers before deployment and after they came back. Um, and I guess it's also about, you know, having some sort of vision with what, what you want and then um, explaining that to people, you know, what, what, you know, why would it be important for us to have a picture of you in the shower and we're not doing a sort of soft cell or something, but, but uh, obviously water and purification and the whole iconography of, of those types of images are important to kind of communicate to the people we're working with. Can you talk about the political ramifications of this film? I remember when it had its premiere in, in the spring, and I know it's open theatrically in Denmark, that it made a lot of waves. Can you talk about that? Yes. Um, the film premiered at Cannes, as Tom said uh, before the screening. And um, after the, the premiere, the day after the premiere at Cannes, it had a, a press screening in Denmark in the biggest theatre in Copenhagen where virtually every politician and every journalist that could be sort of gathered together watched watched the film and there was a huge political debate, a huge debate in the media and a, sort of, um, and, a, and a lot of headlines and a lot of sort of heat and I think what the film did, uh, it came out at, at the right time, there was also you know, NATO come out saying that you know, the, the, the mission in Afghanistan is not as easy as we, we initially thought it would be. And, um, and it's, it's, it's really sparked another kind of debate where before Amadillo there, there was just this public image of you know, soldiers almost being help, aid workers going to build schools and, and wells and not really, uh, there wasn't no a clear understanding of, of you know, the, the, the kind of brutality that the war in Afghanistan actually has. Um, and, and that was a curtain fall, at least in Denmark, to, to see uh, the, this type of imagery. And it was certainly some sort of fall from grace, I would almost say, in a national sense. Um, so it, it shocked people. It takes some uh, 